Good day and welcome to Motor Rose Music. I am Jeff Thiel, and as you saw in the thumbnail and the title, we've got an unboxing here. Yes, it's another West Creek. West Creek Helios, which I understand is uh, from Greek mythology, uh, a minor deity. Um, it was a uh, personification of the sun, I believe. And uh, that's about all I know, but interesting name. I think uh, some of their newer ones they've got coming out have those kind of interesting names to them. So uh, I believe this is a uh, kind of like a PRS-ish type guitar. And, uh, but let's get to the unboxing. Let's take a look. I got uh, the, what is called the Silver Burst and uh, Got my dad's, uh, this is his, uh, it's a Vietnam era uh, Marine fighting knife. And he gave me this. I've had it for a little while. I thought it would be appropriate to tear off this very tough packing tape. Uh, so let's get to the unboxing here. Woo, it's still sharp. And there we go. All right. Now, let's put that down so I don't cut myself. Here we go. This is uh, typical of the West Creek boxing or pretty much anything that comes out of that factory. All right. And this one was shipped just like this. I have uh, another West Creek that I just got in uh, and it was in this box in a giant box with like one little strip of paper in it. I, I, I don't get that, but... Um, Okay, stop, stop sending these. We, none of us need this cable. Uh, we'll, we'll take the Allen wrenches. Uh, well, that's a pretty sweet pick, I'll have to show you that. Anyways, let's unwrap this thing. Let's get it out of here. Hey, where's my rubber band? Usually there's a rubber band around this. All right, get this off of here. Try not to knock the headstock off. And there it is. They call it a silver burst, but uh, not a whole lot of silver in that. Get that angle of it. Yeah, um, yeah, there it is. Um, looks pretty good. Let me get this off of here. Oof. And uh, let's take a look. All right, looks like it almost has a little bit of green to it, but it says it's silver. I kind of, it's, it's different. I don't have any black guitar, so I thought, let's go with this. It's, it's mostly black. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the specs. These are West Creeks. They kind of have their, their kind of baseline that they seem to have on all of their guitars, or at least most of them. At least all the, the ones solid bodies. They, they had a uh, and still have a semi-hollow that's made of uh, basswood. But these all seem to be, and this one is not any different, this is a mahogany body, and it's a maple neck, a rosewood board, bone nut, and the rounded end frets. I love these. They're not always um, dead even. Yeah, you see some that are, you know, they nipped off a little shorter than others. Nothing that makes them unplayable. I still love the rounded end fr uh, frets. Um, we'll, we'll see if uh, these, I, and I don't, I, I'm not one of the, the channels that goes through at the fine tooth comb and, and, and get out the, uh, uh, the fret rocker uh, for you to view, but I, I will check it out and I'll report to you uh, once I make the cut, I'll tune this up and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, Rounded end frets, uh, bone nut, I've already said. Uh, 22 frets. This is a C-shape neck, they say. Pretty in tune. Um, yeah, it's a good medium-sized neck. Uh, their necks seem to be um, a little... Uh, they're not the real slim, modern Cs like Fender's doing a lot of. It's more of uh, kind of a beefier neck. Not baseball bat by any stretch, but a good size that you can play for a while. Because I, I got I got rid of my uh, one Elite Strat. I just wasn't playing it as much. The older I get, man, having to squeeze that little skinny neck 
man, my hand gets fatigued quick because you're having to squeeze a lot further down. So anyways, story of an old man. Uh, these are currently selling for $154.99, so $155 on Amazon. Uh, once again, I got... Man, I jumped on this thing as soon as it came out. Uh, I had a coupon for it for like 40% off or whatnot, and I got it for $175.99, but ah, well, whatever. We'll see if this... I've had this for a bit. I just... I've been getting air conditioning put in all in the house, throughout the house, uh, ductless AC. So uh, I've had uh, videos put on hold for a little bit. Anyway, so these come in a silver burst, which is this. They have a honey burst. Uh, it's more of kind of a, a, well, you know, like a kind of a less polish type. Nowhere near this good looking, but um, it kind of has that... Uh, yellowish, reddish, yellowish kind of burst to it. And then Carmine, which is a red burst, where instead of this being silver, it's red. It's pretty good looking. I like the, the silver burst the best. And, uh, oh yeah, Tunematic Bridge, uh, Tunematic Light Bridge. And uh, that's pretty much it for the specs. You got your Grover knockoffs. Um, I've always found these to be good uh, on the, the West Creeks. I've never had any issues. Are they as good as some of the higher? No, they're not, but you know, I paid 176, this is $155. Yes, made in China. So with that being said, let's get this thing tuned up. I'll check it out, make sure the neck's uh, fairly straight, just a slight bow in it, and I'll check the frets to see, uh, get the fret rocker out, and I'll check that. Then we will demo it right after this cut. All right, we're back with the West Creek Helios. Could be Helios. I'm going with Helios. Uh, so I've got it tuned up. Had to stretch the strings out. Uh, didn't have any frets that were... There, there was... Uh, somewhere down here was one that was just slightly. I just kind <clears> of <throat> tapped it back in there. But other than that, all the frets were uh, pretty well seated. Um, I didn't have any issue with the neck as far as straightening it out. I don't, that out. It had just a slight bow in it, which is what I want. So let's start uh, with the sounds here. Uh, this is just your, uh, you know, traditional kind of two humbuckers. So you've got the bridge combined, and then this up switch here is the neck pickup by itself. So I'll just have these all the way up, and this is clean. I'm going through my uh, Fender Princeton Reverb. It's the Tone Master version, so this is the solid state. Uh, I've got it running at about uh, five, and I'm on the uh, second highest setting uh, as far as the attenuator in the back. So here we go. This is just clean. There's no effects, just a little besides the reverb that's on the amp. Bridge pickup. <laughs> Now let's combine the pickups here. All right, let me make sure I'm in tune here. All right, got her tuned up. Hadn't got the strings quite uh, stretched out as I like. But let's go, I'm gonna put on just the uh, Boss Super Overdrive. That's the SD1. And I will have, uh, I'm an Amazon affiliate. I'll have affiliate links in there for the Super Overdrive, the Rat, and of course, uh, the uh, West Creek Helios. And uh, I get like 4% of whatever the, Price. It doesn't make adjust the price any at all. It's not costing anyone more. Just helps me out. And if you happen to uh, click on the link and buy something, I get a little commission from Amazon. So now let's uh, put it on the bridge. I've got the Boss SD1 here. Mm 
Combine both pickups. Neck pickup. Don, go easy on me there. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's it with the Super Overdrive. Sounds pretty damn good. Um, now let's hit it with some rat distortion here. Uh, just beef it up a little bit. All right, got the bridge pickup. good. All right, let's combine both of them here. Oh, a little bit of feedback. Testing, one, two. Testing, testing. Bit microphonic. Uh... that little bit of feedback on this uh it's it seems let me, let me try it with this uh bridge pickup test 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 a little bit test test this one Yeah, for some reason, uh, this neck pickup is, uh, man, feeds back like a, an MFer there. So, uh, you know, other than that, I, you know, I, I kind of like this. I mean, I'm not surprised with the West Creeks. Um, I've not gotten a bad one yet. Uh, a little surprised that this neck pickup's feeding back so much. Although I did... Uh, I only had the distortion about halfway, but I also had this super overdrive on it as well. But yeah, I mean, I definitely recommend this. Uh, it's another great West Creek cheap guitar, $155. Uh, they still had them out there in the three colors. If you're looking for something like a kind of a PRS-ish type guitar, but don't want to spend the PRS type money, uh, yeah, 155 bucks. You can't go wrong here. Uh, this is the, uh, I got another West Creek, a Flying V one. So I've had uh, one, two, three, about five of their guitars so far. And, uh, and I haven't got to the fifth one yet, but the four that I've had, they've all been great guitars. Uh, you know, they're, again, these aren't, you know, it's not, this isn't better than an American made PRS, no. But uh, for 155 bucks, uh, if you just want something to, uh, I don't know, just a, ch a nice cheap guitar. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend this thing. Uh, West Creek does it again. 
If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. It helps us out so much. Give us a like and leave a comment. Anything else you'd like to uh, see me review, please let me know. Keep rock alive.